Hi, I'm Noah, and today we're going to learn how you can know what games will work on your computer before you buy them. If you're into playing computer games, then often you'll be afraid of making a purchase for some game that actually you won't be able to play because your computer isn't new and powerful enough. So it's always good to make sure that the game will be able to run on your computer before you purchase it, otherwise you could be wasting $60. The easiest way to figure out if a game will work on your computer is to go to www.systemrequirementslab.com slash refer slash SR test, which stands for System Requirements Test. Once you're on this website, you can just select any game from the drop-down menu, for example, Grand Theft Auto. and then simply click on the can you run it icon this will bring you to a page where you'll be invited to download a very small program which will basically analyze your computer and check if you have the correct system requirements to run the game or not so to confirm that you want to run the application simply click on the little run button in the far right corner of the pop-up screen. Now it will start downloading this little tool and once it's done downloading it will start analyzing your computer. Then the result of the test will display in your browser. Now a second way to check for system requirements to see if a game will work on your computer is to do this manually. Now this is also quite easy to do. All you have to do is go to the start menu, then to the control panel, and then from the control panel simply double click on the system icon. Here in the first tab that appears, you'll be able to see, first of all, how much RAM you have. Now another important thing to check is your graphics card. To do this, simply go to the Hardware tab, and then click on Device Manager. From the Device Manager window that opens, find the Display Adapters. Here, after clicking on the little plus sign to the left of it, two little things will unfold and we'll be able to see what our graphics card is. Here, an NVIDIA GeForce 4 MX4000. Now that we've figured out what our graphics card is, how much RAM or virtual memory we have, and what our processor is, the last thing we need to check is how much free hard drive space we have. To do this, you can simply go to My Computer. Once you've opened My Computer, for example, Local Disk C, and then right-click on it and click on Properties from the fold-out menu. Here you'll we'll be able to see how much use space we have and how much free space we have, so 5.39 gigabytes. Now that we have these four things written down, what we'll have to do is go on the internet to www.pcgamerequirements.com where we'll be able to manually check what the requ requirements are for a specific game. To find the game you want, just go to the right hand side of the screen and either click on Game Requirements Full Index or on a certain letter set for the game you want. For example, if we're searching for Grand Theft Auto, we can check F through M. Here, we'll have the minimum requirements for the game, as well as the recommended requirements. The minimum requirements are what you'll need to be able to run the game at, at a very low level, meaning that the graphics won't be the best looking, and the game might lag a bit, meaning your character might move around in a kind of jumpy way instead of a fluid motion. So if you really want to have an enjoyable playing experience, you'll want to basically have the recommended requirements. 